Get emo with me so we can go to a concert. I'm seeing Pierce the Veil, so of course I had to wear the shirt, but I'm going to give it some modifications. I just want it to be grazing my belly button, so it's like kind of a long crop top. So I'm cutting it one inch lower than I want it to end because it's gonna curl up a little bit since it's an unfinished edge. So this is the length and I like it. So I'm going to layer a sheer long sleeve checkered top underneath for that layered look and because it's giving Vans Classic checkered slip-ons, which I don't have anymore, but you'll love the shoes that I do choose in the end. I'm tucking it under the top so it doesn't show and of course you've gotta love those thumb holes. Testing how this shirt looks with my arms up. Looks good. Here are my nails, which should probably be black, but the concert was on the day of my birthday and these were my birthday nails, so it was a great way to spend the day and Pierce the Veil was actually the first concert I ever went to in my life, so it was such a full circle moment for me, but this time I have all the piercings I wasn't allowed to get in high school. And I'm also wearing these black pants with the suspenders. I love these pants and all the pockets and sorry for the background, I just moved to this apartment but I'm working on it. I'm starting with foundation but I'm using my shade because going way too light doesn't work for my skin tone and then I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because this is actually the powder that I used to use to get my extremely powdered face back in the day. So I'm recreating that today by using too much and pressing it in with a powder puff to really just pack it on and mattify but this is also perfect to keep my makeup in place while I'm screaming and jumping around later with all the emo girlies in the crowd that I made friends with. I'm using a powder brush to dust off the excess powder and even it out, and then I'm using the Ben Nye setting spray to keep everything in place, and I'm doing two rounds of that just in case. Next, I'm using Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer and do not come for me for using something with shimmer. I'm just being historically accurate because this is something like what I used back in the day by Hard Candy and it got me through life just fine. So contour just a bit with that and then it's time to do brows and I haven't shaped them in a while so they're kind of grungy right now and I'm just filling them in a little bit and then using a brow gel to keep them in place. Next I'm just doing a tiny bit of blush, nothing too crazy and then setting my face again and I'm using a transition shade in my crease to help blend, then a dark brown to define the crease and give a softer edge and blend into the black that I'll be adding later. Then I am also putting that on my lower lash line and going in with a black cream pencil for the darkest base possible and then blending that outwards towards the crease. I'm using the matte black eyeshadow from this really cute flush palette to set the cream and really pressing it on there instead of swiping so I can get good coverage and then using a short brush to put this on my lower lash line and blend it into the dark brown. I'm using a dense blending brush to soften the edges around the black and then using a matte dark brown to soften it and fade it out seamlessly. And I'm using black radiant silver and black glitter to highlight my inner corner, it is so cute. And these dramatic kiss lashes to really emphasize the dark eye. Lastly, I'm just using a nude MAC lipstick and topping that with the ColourPop So Juicy Clear Lip Gloss. And I'm pressing in some more of that black so it can be as dark as possible and also not crease. Then I'm putting on my necklace, which is a little skull hand and a mini knife. For hair, I'm using the Got To Be Voluminizing Powder instead of a gallon of hairspray and aggressive teasing because believe it or not, that's actually terrible for your hair, but this stuff is crazy. A hairstylist used it on me at a shoot once and I literally ordered it online while in her chair because you just put a little powder and rub it in and it gets so grippy. It goes clear and it really holds up my roots without damaging my hair, so this is my current favorite voluminizing method. I realized I forgot to do my waterline with black liner and then I finished doing my hair, but make sure that you have that side part. That is half the magic. Put that little swoop in your face, make sure your hair is big enough, you got this. I love how big my hair got with just a little powder. So here are the shoes. They are chunky and hot and full of the right hardware. They're from Demonia and it's also nice that I got a couple inches from them so I could see better at the show. So here's the full fit. And honestly, that was such a fun throwback for me. Once emo, always emo. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.